Hello guys and welcome to David Zamolara. In today's video I want to show you how to repair your own brushes from your own alternator that's used. This is my used alternator brush kit and I just repaired it and you can see that I still left the very long wires which you're supposed to kind of cut off but I wanted to leave that uh, to show to you guys that yeah I just did it. guys in this video I want to show you how to replace these brushes here that's inside uh, never done this before so I don't know if I'm about to show you how to do it or break it but observation is key with anything and I could see that these plastics have been put together this plastic ring is part of this whole ring right here pulling this thing so I should have probably attempted to do this in the first place so as I'm pulling it, look, I just pulled it apart. Um, but it slides out from the top. But with that lip, it cannot go forward. So it's actually quite simple. So I got my hot air station. So we got the iron here. We got the hot plate. We got the hot air. So I'm not going to be using the, the hot, hot air station right now. But this is used for other electronics. I'm just gonna max it out so it's still heating up it's starting to smoke See it's out. So these are definitely soldered on. I, I do need to get some pliers. Let's keep going. I'm going to, well, I was gonna attempt to pull that out, but it already soldered itself way on here. So I'm going to leave it for now. And go ahead and sever this connection. I'm gonna melt it again. It's still quite connected, surprisingly. Okay, hey, Kitty, this is too hot for you. Might want to stay back. Go down for now. Okay, 
There's that little wire. Okay, so that one came out. Okay guys, the last one is out. I needed to heat it quite a bit. Um, and actually it's got some solder on here and I'm wondering if I could recycle some of this stuff because I just don't have any right now. It's, uh, I don't know where it is. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and actually replace the springs. And we have another spring right here. We're gonna replace the springs. And then we're gonna need to take this and make it very pointy. And slide this through one of the holes. Okay. I made it with this one. Things are still quite hot. So I'm gonna have to be careful. And it's actually a good idea to start from the back and then move forward. I need one more. I'm gonna show you how the easy way to do it. aim this one I'm gonna go to another hole like this and to press them in and of course we have this piece which will help things I'm really not sure how easy is this I may just have to press them like this and, and just try to see if I could solder them on somewhat because this piece is the only way I could actually insert it and then lock them in there and I'm trying to figure out a way to do just that so that's good so I'm just grabbing these these two <clears throat> so we need to just insert this over here snap this all the way in then do it the same way like Grab a tool like that and then insert like a locking pin. Where they're locked like that, just like that. And now I just need to make things tight. Just go like that to the sides. You could actually snip these things off a little bit later on. But I'm gonna stick this on the inside and I'm gonna let uh, them slide out because this tool, it's like seven sixteen five let me see. It's five sixteenths. So now I'm gonna tip it to the side and I'm gonna apply some southern. This is southern. Southern, 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 Southering Iron. So uh, that's gonna be okay. So this is like doing it free. I didn't even get any supplies except uh, the machine. So if you just had a $10 Southern iron, you could just do this really easy. And technically I welded it without all the proper stuff. And it still works. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so glad I've tried this machine today because I bought it a while ago and waiting for some kind of project. And now we just did it. Sure, it's probably a little messy, but it doesn't really matter. What counts is that it's going to work. Now we're just gonna have to wait till it dries, which is like takes a couple seconds. 
and and remove my thing here and I think I actually did it better than the one I bought huh. I'm giving myself way too much credit here but look guys this was the old one now it's the new one and it's working everything's good so what do you do with these little ants well shoot they're not in the way you can just tuck them back I mean even if you know these things are actually part of that same metal so you could just like leave it in place does not really matter you never know what if you you want to unsolder them or something one day but you could technically cut them off right there at the ends like very little ends and that's it it's gonna be like a nice clean little tool but guys it's done and it's awesome guys if you enjoyed this video please hit a like and consider subscribing to my channel for interesting content like this i mainly do a lot of sprinter videos but i buy and sell cars i fix all my own cars so i like to fix stuff pennies and a dollar diy style and share my tips with you guys so anyways thanks bye bye my name is serge zamaletta i'm 37 years old and yes i experienced success after buying my first home for cash back in 2011 i was broke but i learned to solve problems on my own now i'm helping others to solve their problems i know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business need motivation to be more successful in your life do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.